Qatar's emir has opened the new Hamad port as part of a wider plan to increase non-petroleum exports. It means larger container ships can go directly to Doha rather than docking in the United Arab Emirates where cargo was transferred to smaller vessels. The UAE is one of the countries that have imposed a land, air and sea blockade on Qatar. The port will have an annual capacity of 7.5 million shipping containers and separate terminals dedicated to general cargo, cereal, vehicles and livestock. It's expected to be fully operational by 2020. The existing Doha port will then be transformed into an international cruise ship terminal. Jamal Al-Shala has this update from the port. The unveiling of Hamad port is significant on several levels, not least the timing. 90 days have gone by since the land, sea and air blockade was imposed on Qatar by Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain. Despite this, Qatar wanted to demonstrate that not only is this siege not having the impact that those countries would have liked for it to happen, but Qatar is able to withstand it and also complete huge infrastructure projects like this, a multi-billion dollar uh, port, which is one of the largest in the region, having the capacity to deal with 7.5 million containers every year. That's roughly one every 20 minutes. The storage facilities here are very impressive as well. The ability to store food produce and other vital products to serve 3 million people for up to two years. And in light of the siege, that also is very significant. Another clear message from Qatar here is that it is able to diversify its options economically in terms of exports and imports, that it's no longer tied down to depending on its neighbors like the United Arab Emirates, where it used to, uh, uh, was forced to have larger containers docked there before they were uh, shipped here or the land border in Saudi Arabia. There are now direct naval routes from Doha to countries like India, Turkey and others. So a very clear message from Doha that the country is it's not only business as usual here, but the country will continue moving forward in a very aggressive manner on its economic plan leading up to the World Cup in 2022 and the vision of 2030, a vision that's meant to see Qatar move to the next level economically as one of the major business centers in the region.